investing in education is investing in the future of Cambodia. More education, less poverty. And never more education, more poverty. Cambodia has made substantial progress in education over the past 30 years. Despite impressive improvements in school infrastructure and accessibility, there was a major shortcoming. The problem is the quality of education. So my job is to, you know, make sure that Cambodian not just have access to education, but have quality education. With a strong focus on quality, the government launched their third consecutive five-year education strategy plan in 2009. Immediately recognized as being on the right track, the plan lacked the budget necessary to achieve its goals. So, in order to realize the government's vision, in 2011, UNICEF, EU and Sweden pulled $14.1 million and established the first phase of the Education Capacity Development Partnership Fund or CDPF. We are confident into the policies that the government is going to put in place in the education sector. What we, we are trying to do in Cambodia in the education sector is really to align our support. It's the only fund of the sector that is entirely dedicated to building up the skills, knowledge and experience of the ministry particularly in terms of planning and managing the education system, so schools, teachers, um, the education budget. If there is no funding for some training, for some like curriculum reform or review, or teacher reform, then CDPF come in. This is the value of CDPF. It's complement the education budget. The Ministry takes the lead on the allocation of all funds. Together with the CDPF, they organise trainings at the national level on public financial management, planning, monitoring, accountability and education service delivery, to name a few. At the provincial level, the CDPF focuses on education planning. They do so within joint technical working groups, where they emphasise education data collection and learn to develop annual operational plans, among other things. Uh in addition, CDPF allocated funds to acquire computers and motorbikes to increase communication and oversight. And at the local level, the CDPF and Ministry are providing trainings to strengthen the capacity of school directors and increase the partnership between schools and their communities. To further improve schools across Cambodia, the Swedish government allotted a complimentary $22 million and Phase 2 of the CDPF begins in 2015 investing an additional $11 million over the next two years. These investments in Cambodia's education system help to ensure that in every office and at every school, the ministry's employees will have the knowledge and training to deliver a quality education to each and every Cambodian child. The outcome of the CPF is that after, you know, say, five years, the government will be able to do everything on his own.